New background. Who dis? Hey. Uh. <laughs> I don't know how to be cool. I've never been cool. Somebody explain. How how do I do it? Cuz I'm just cringe every single time. <laughs> Hey everyone, so today we are finally, finally <laughs> going through all my makeup. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing everything. Okay, we went through everything and I feel cleansed. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated. I feel like this room looks so much better with my organization now and I'm just a lot happier and it's so freeing to see my makeup the way it is now. So this is gonna be a few separate videos. I don't have the biggest collection, but this whole ordeal, okay, this took so long to do. I thought this was going to be a modest week project. Uh, no. <laughs> this has been going on for months. So yeah, if you see nail changes, outfit changes, the whole shebang, that is why. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be organizing my setting sprays, primers, and liquid highlighters. For all of my videos, you're probably gonna see me looking like this because I'm gonna be doing the same intro for all of them. Just to save myself a little bit of time and, you know, to make it all a collection, I can then make it like a little playlist or something. If you're a fan of all the tapping sounds and stuff, I made this video pretty much especially for all of the tapping sounds and stuff, so it's a little bit of ASMR, but also just satisfying to have an organized collection, so you don't have to be into ASMR to watch this, but if you are, I hope it pleases your senses. Um, it just makes me feel weird, you know, like, ugh. Anyway, <laughs> fall has arrived in this household, okay? We've got a new background. This cute little snuggle season pillow is like my favorite. I almost melted when I saw it. And then we got some little pumpkins in the background over here. I tried to keep the flower theme going, so I've got some red roses. I kind of want to add a few orange colors. I'm not 100% sure if I like it, but for the time being, I've got this. I'm sorry my videos have been a little choppy recently, um, and I've only been uploading like once a week. If you guys saw this room, you would understand. <laughs> thank you so much for being patient with me and just supporting my videos that I do upload. And also thank you for the new people who have decided to subscribe. I don't know why you have, but I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much for joining this little community. If you're into these kind of declutter organizational videos and you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Because undoubtedly, I probably will need one again in the near future because I buy way too much makeup. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button and that will notify you when I upload. We're getting close to 600 people here, which is insane. If we can get to a thousand by the end of the year, I'm gonna try and do a Christmas giveaway. Obviously that's not guaranteed since we've got like, uh, maybe like three months on the way possibly. I don't even know what month are we in. Yeah, if you want to then just subscribe. I mean, I don't see a reason why you can't, but you know, we're each to their own. Maybe you don't like me. I mean, that's a little hurtful, but maybe you don't. Um, I'd understand. Okay, I need to stop now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling now because I've been talking for quite a while. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let's get straight into the organization. I'm so excited, oh my god. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> You're currently joining me on my floor. <laughs> So we can sort out these drawers right here. Uh, clearly these have seen better days. They're all crooked and some of them are off the runners and I cannot wait to organize them. <laughs> I'm just gonna be decluttering the stuff that I wanna get rid of, what I wanna keep, and then I'm gonna put them into the organizers and put them on my shelves, which are now built, thank God. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna be off camera for the majority of this so you guys don't have to see my troll likeness because right now I really do resemble one with my frizzy flyaways and my top knot. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's get into it so you guys don't have to continue looking at this. <laughs> okay, so the first straw we're gonna be doing is primers, setting sprays. I've got a bit of skincare in here, which really, it just needs to be organized and I need to go through what I wanna keep and what I don't. So I'm just gonna start with setting sprays. So first off, Definitely not getting rid of these. They're the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. It's like a shimmery, sheeny set and spray. It's really pretty. It does leave your skin a little bit tacky, I find, but I really love the way this makes your skin look. So that's not going nowhere. Uh, this tried to imitate that and really did not work. 
This is the MUA Glow Shimmer Spray and it's just so chunky and really hard to shake up apparently. <laughs> it's a pretty gold but it's too deep for my skin tone so I'm gonna get rid of this and pass this on to somebody who may appreciate it more. I hope to god my camera's focusing and stuff while I'm doing this because you're in a really precarious angle right now and I can't really see what's going on so fingers crossed this comes out okay. Uh, next I actually have two of the NYX Dewy Finish setting sprays. Uh, I've used both of these. <laughs> I accidentally ordered two. I was supposed to order the matte and the dewy. I ended up getting two dewy, so that's great. <laughs> I think I may keep one and then give the other one to someone who may want it. I think I'll keep the more damaged bottles so, you know, a person can have a nice one. So I'm gonna keep one of those because it is really good and it's affordable, kind of. It's kind of medium, but it's a good setting spray. I really like the Maybelline Dream Satin Mist. This is a really nice, kind of dewy, natural kind of mist. Bit of an aggressive sprayer, but I really like the finish that it gives, so I'm gonna keep that one. I have two MAC Fix Pluses. Um, I got this one because of the packaging, pretty much. <laughs> but you can't go wrong with Fix Plus, so you can always have more. I'm not gonna buy any more until I go through these, but I really like this one. The scent is okay on this one, but I honestly bought it more for the packaging. I really wanted something with this blossom print because cherry blossom is pretty much one of my favorite flowers, so but I didn't want to go all out and buy the collection, you know, because I didn't really like anything else from it, so I just got this. And then I've also got this one, which is the lavender one, and I love using this at night, just like the most extra thing I think I could ever say, but it's really nice to spray on your face when you're about to go to bed because it's like soothing and smells really good and relaxing, so I really like this one, and as you can see, I've used this one quite a lot, so I really love that one. The Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, another really good one. This is actually my second bottle of this, uh, so I'm not getting rid of this one. The Shake and Glow by L'Oreal, I really love this. The mist on this is incredible. I did a video where I tried it out, I think in like a first impressions video or something. And it is so good. It can leave your skin feeling a little bit tacky. So if you don't like that kind of feeling, maybe you won't like this, but I personally really love this. I have an empty bottle in here. <laughs> This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I kept the bottle to remind myself to get another one. Um, <laughs> there's like the tiniest amount in here, but not enough to spray my face. So I really need to get rid of an empty bottle. Like what the hell? This Revolution Pro Supreme Holds Finishing Spray. Um, I have been using this one quite a bit. I don't really think I like it. It's like an okay one that I just use because I have it. I use this to spray my soap a lot before putting it in my brows, like to do soap brows. And I don't know if it helps it or not, but I have been using it for that purpose. But all the rest of my setting sprays are pretty dewy. So I think I'm gonna keep this one as like an alternative because it's just a kind of normal spray. It doesn't really add anything. It just kind of sets everything and then just dries down. So I'm gonna keep this. I was gonna create a maybe pile, but I decided against it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it guys. Don't judge me. <laughs> I've got this e.l.f. beauty shield that I've tried twice, I think. I really wanna try it some more. I'm pretty sure it's just a kind of multitasking spray where you can use it as a finishing spray, a primer spray, just a a beauty shield as it says and for like pollution and stuff so I'm gonna keep it gonna try it a little bit more I have this Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Spray it's okay it's the watermelon scent and it smells amazing but I don't know if it really does anything <laughs> and it's got some sticky stuff down the side I have no idea where that's from that's just great <laughs> as you can see I have used a little bit of it but I just don't know if uh, I really need it, you know. I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna use it a little bit more. I've had this for quite a while, so I don't really want to give it to somebody else. So I'm just gonna try and use it up, I guess. <laughs> I think. Nope, there's one more back here hiding away. This is the CYO Fixin' Spray. This smells like straight alcohol. Uh, I don't really like this, so I think I'm gonna declutter it because why am I keeping it if I don't like it? <laughs> Yay, we have one thing that's going. Yay. <laughs> All right, what's hiding back here? We have skincare. Oh, we have we have these light luster liquid highlights. That doesn't belong in here. I have a random card back here. Twenty five pound off super dry. Mm, probably expired. <laughs> so next, I have my Halo Beauty Kiwi Skin Boosters that I haven't tried. <laughs> so I really need to 
get to try in these. Uh, I wanted to do a video on them, so that's why I haven't done anything with them yet. So obviously I'm keeping these. I'm just gonna move my primers a second so we can get to the skincare part. Just cause, just cause this stuff, I mean, it's been in here for ages and I just need to get rid of it. <laughs> I bought the Makeup Revolution Targeted Under Eye Serum. This stung my eyes. Um, I really didn't like this. It kind of left my eyes feeling like almost like I've run a stingy nettle underneath them. That's the only way I can describe it. I really didn't like the feeling, so I ceased to use it. And to be honest, it's looking a little bit dodged in the actual bottle there. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Also these Ordinary Serums, I've had them for way too long, maybe over two years or something. I bought them all at once, which is a stupid thing to do. But yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of these because I don't want to be putting expired acids or anything on my face, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this Body Shop Green Tea Solution, um, it was okay. It didn't really work for me, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Found a pen, bobble. Oh, the USB for my mouse. That would be handy. <laughs> I've got this Garnier Day Cream. Uh, I really didn't like this. It's so scented and just so thick. I thought I tried something different and I didn't like it. I have oily skin. It was just too heavy. I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> I really like this. I'm actually gonna keep this. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Aqua Boost Essence Lotion. You can feel this working, but it's not painful which is just great. <laughs> it's just something you put on before you put on your moisturizer and serums and it helps your skin absorb it more. So I'm gonna be keeping this obviously because I use it. Got a random perfume in here. I've also got this Lush Helping Hands Hand Cream. I'm gonna keep this and use this. I have this weird thing and I don't know if anybody else in the world has it. After I wash my hands or I come out of the bath, I can't touch anything soft like even my own skin. I don't know what it is, it goes through me. I find using hand creams just helps take away that feeling a little bit. I don't know, does anybody else get that? It's it's a weird thing. <laughs> Towels are like my worst enemy once I've come out of the bath, but I need to sit in them. So I literally just sit still pretty much after coming out of the bath and just hold my hands like this so I don't have to touch anything. <laughs> does anybody else have something weird like that? Please. Please tell me you do, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> so this is in the keep pile. I've also got this sun cream, which is the vitamin E line as well from Body Shop. It is okay. I just don't know if I like this underneath makeup because it's so moisturizing and I've already got oily skin. I really need to find a drier formula for SPF because I find that this affects my makeup. So I don't really like it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> I've got a mini professional that I usually take when I'm traveling and then I also have this large one which is pretty much out but I'm just squeezing the very last of it. I am gonna keep it because there is just a little bit left so waste not whatnot. This is good for travel. I'm gonna keep these. The Makeup Revolution Super Fruit Extra Primer. It was okay. I did a comparison of this to my fave the Barry M Unicorn Drops and it really wasn't the same. It was more mattifying, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because I still love the Unicorn Drops by Barry M. So this is a keep. This one's gonna go to a new home. The Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I'm keeping this. This is so friggin' expensive. <laughs> I don't know if it does that much for my skin, but I'm keeping it and using it all up because because, because money. <laughs> Another pricey one, the Fasali Unicorn Drops. Um, I do quite like these, but then I do wonder if they do anything. It's like one of those things where I feel like I'm doing good for my skin when I use it, but it's more of a serum in my opinion. So I'd use this in conjunction with other primers. So it's kind of skincare. I am keeping it. Too Faced Hangover X Primer. I really dislike this. It's not the consistency. The consistency is actually okay. I hate the scent. It kind of smells like dusty coconut. Like I really, really hate it. And I don't feel like it did that much for my skin in all honesty. It doesn't even feel that hydrating, which is what it's supposed to be, isn't it? I don't know. This one's gonna go, um, it is pretty full. Like I've barely used it because I just couldn't stand the scent. So I might see if somebody else will like this. Um, maybe someone with drier skin possibly. Uh, we shall see. But this one's going. The Revlon Rose Glow, I really like this actually. It leaves a really subtle sheen to the skin and feels really nice. Again, I think I used this in a full face first impression or something and it's really pretty. I really like it. 
it's staying. This is a benefit sample. It's That Girl Brightening Face Primer. I've never used this, <laughs> so this can go. I think I've got another one of these somewhere. This is the Matte Prep and Prime. Again, another sample. I kind of want to keep it though. I do want to try it. I just never do. I really need to take this like traveling with me, so I'm kind of forced to try it. It is a really good size to travel, so I'm going to keep it. It's not going to take that much room. It should be good. <laughs> My Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. This one's not going nowhere. I really like this one. The Star Primer by Makeup Revolution. This is the one with the anise extract in it. So it smells very strong. Um, I've really only tried this twice. I kind of want to try it some more. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, do I? I don't know. Do I really want to keep it? It feels really nice. It's like gel base and almost feels silicone-y. It just smells so much like Bonjala. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try it a little bit more. See if I like it. <laughs> Pore Blur Primer by Makeup Revolution. I use this quite a bit, so I'm gonna keep this. This is the Pore Primer by Revolution Pro. Um, this has gone kind of oily, so I kind of feel like it needs to be thrown. I don't really like it, so I'm gonna just part ways with it. It's gonna go. The e.l.f. Putty Primer. I really want to try this with some matte foundations because it fills in the pores but I almost feel like it's a little bit too hydrating for my skin. I kind of end up a little bit oily by the end of the day. So I'm thinking in conjunction with a very matte foundation this might help it. So I'm gonna keep this to play around with it a little bit more. I think this is the e.l.f. Mattifying. Uh, <laughs> doesn't actually say what it is on the bottle but I've tried this a few times and it's okay didn't really do that much for my skin so I think I'm gonna part ways with this one it's pretty new but I just don't use it so there's no point this one however is staying this is the glow lotion I love this especially on just everyday makeup it's so pretty and gives such a natural glow that's not over the top I really like this one. I use it quite a bit actually. We have MAC Strobe Cream. This ain't going anywhere. This is one of my favorites. This isn't in any color or anything. It's just a kind of like normal one. It's got a slight pink tinge to it, but it is so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Staying. And then I also really like this Kika one. It's the Smart Radiance 3 in 1 Cream. Brush though is so janky, but this gives more of like a golden glow to the skin and I use it in a similar way that I would the elf one it's just super duper pretty I really like that that one's staying too and these are just contact lenses that I bought for Halloween so these are staying and that is an empty drawer that needs to be cleaned <laughs> but yeah there's one drawer empty guys I'm just gonna clean this real quick All right, that's one draw done. Here are the setting sprays I'm keeping and here are the ones I'm getting rid of, so goodbye. And I'm gonna sort these with my primers. I'm just gonna move these to the side. Okay, here are my primers. These are the ones that are staying and then I'm getting rid of all of these. So let's say goodbye and move on. So I should probably use a drawer for these to organize them, but I don't have one at the moment. So I'm gonna be using one of these dividers and we'll see what we can do. I'm probably just gonna stack them like this just so they're in compartments. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so that's all the setting sprays stacked quite nicely. Now I'm gonna put the primers in. Probably just gonna lay these down to be honest. Um, maybe I'll stand these ones up. Let's see. Okay, I'm probably going to add some liquid highlights into here. Um, let me just go grab those real quick. Okay, let's do the liquid jelly uh, section. <laughs> I have these three Beauty Bay ones, which I tried in a video. I did a whole dedicated video for them. Um, I just, I haven't used them because it's such a weird consistency. I think I've used one of them one other time and it was not a good time for me. Like it chunked up. Rude. <laughs> 
it was really not a good skin day. I tried putting it underneath foundation and it just made my skin look so textured. It was kind of gross. And I feel like this is kind of drying up. Can you see what's happened in the center there? That's the shade Sunbeam, which is a little too dark. Then we've got the shade Starlight, which I think is the one that I used the most in the video. Yeah, this is the paler one, which actually looks really pretty. And then we have the shade Shimmering Stardust. These feel very dry. I think I'm gonna keep one of them. I'm gonna keep the shade Starlight Sparkle and then I'm gonna get rid of these other two. I'll ask if other people want them, but to be honest, I think because they're drying up, they'd be worth just throwing out, but I'll ask just in case. <laughs> I have my CYO Bounce Beam Multi-Use Eliminating Jelly. This is actually limited edition. This is in the shade Golden Sparkle and I really love this when I tried it and I have used it a few times since. It is like a jelly consistency, but it's like almost wet and it looks so pretty on the skin. So I'm gonna keep this. And yeah, this is one of the better jelly products that I've used, so I'm keeping this. We have this Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlight. Um, oh God, <laughs> can you see that? That is so gross. Okay, uh, no, this is going. <laughs> I'm not even going to humor that. That one, that one's going. <laughs> oh, actually, this is kind of like liquid bronzers as well. Um, I've got a Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drop, which is in the shade Celestial. I have never used this. I bought this in 2017 when I went to Florida and I literally have never used it. Um, but I am more into my liquid highlighters now than I previously was. I bought this because everybody had them on YouTube. <laughs> But they are super pretty. It's just very pink and I'm more into champagne colored ones now. Um, because it's my only one, I am gonna keep it and I spent a lot of money on it, so <laughs> I wanna keep it. And then this is another one that I bought because everybody had. I really wanted the original, but it was too dark for me, so I couldn't. So I got the shade Shine, which again is a pink toned one. This is the iconic London Drops. Um, very similar to the Custom Effects one, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty much identical. Can you guys see which one starts and which one ends? Um, okay, so I don't need both of these. Oh, here we go. This is where the struggle starts. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep the iconic London one because I... am I? <laughs> no, just screw it. I'm gonna keep them both. I don't have a crazy collection, uh, so I am justifying it, but I'm gonna keep it. Maybe I'll change my mind later down the line. We shall see, but for the moment, I'm keeping them. I've got these, which are by L'Oreal. It's the Glow Mon Amour drops, um, which is in the shade Sparkling Love. I actually have used these quite a lot. It's a really pretty color. They are slightly oily in texture, but they do dry down. So I mix this in with like foundations and things, and it gives a really pretty golden kind of glow to the skin. Um, so I'm gonna keep these, because I mean, they're so sort of affordable one as well, which is great. Got these ones by Primark. I've actually used these quite a bit and they have like amazing stay in power, which is strange. They're put on the thicker formula. Like I don't know why they put a uh, pipette in here because you cannot use the pipette for this product. And this one's a slightly different color. I use this one I've got fake tan on because it's a little dark. It's more of like a bronzy color, but I am gonna keep this cause it's different and it's also affordable. So I'm keeping this one. I have a few of these, I think, hang on. I thought I had another one, but I've got two liquid highlighters by Makeup Revolution. I do use these. I've got the shade Liquid Starlight and Liquid Champagne. I'm probably gonna get rid of the Starlight one because I really like the Champagne one because it is, well, a champagne color. <laughs> and it's just really pretty to mix in with foundation and stuff. And it's not too dark. I can get away with it when I mix it in with my foundation and stuff. So I'm gonna keep this shade. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this pinky one. These are a little bit more sheer in formula, um, but that's why they blend in with foundation so while well, they don't leave like a crazy cast or anything um but i am gonna get rid of this pinky one because i've already got two pinky highlights that i already potentially don't use so i'm gonna get rid of this one i have this by stila which i'm pretty sure i picked up in tk max and i don't know why <laughs> it's the all over shimmer liquid illuminizer in the shade rose gold that's probably why i picked it up the rose gold but it's just too dark i mean when am i gonna use this I don't even know. <laughs> this has got to go and I'm pretty sure it's expired because things in TK Maxx were there for a while and um, I've had this for a while so I don't know how old it is. <laughs> oh, I have this highlighter which is by Kiko. It was a limited edition one. It's the Tropic Heat highlighter. I really like this when I tried it. 
I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> it's another like putty highlighter, but let's see what it looks like. But it's like a moussey texture and it's a pretty white gold. I'm going to keep that one. I like it. I think I can get rid of the packaging though. I keep hold of pretty packaging. I've got to learn to let it go. <laughs> I have two samples of the High Beam by Benefit. I never used this. I never really liked it. It's very light pink and I know these two can both go. This. Why have I kept this? <laughs> this is a L'Oreal Havana Sunlit Bronzer. This is just, I mean, it's a highlighter, but in a poopy bronze color. Like, look at this. What is that? Um, it's literally got gold reflex in it. How do you use that as a bronzer? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Smells very alcoholy as well. And you can sheer it out. You know what? I'm going to put this in my to try drawer because I don't know if I've even tried it. I want to see if I can sheer that out and make it work. Yeah, I'm going to put that in my to try drawer. We'll see. I've got this liquid highlighter, which is by Collection. It's the Finishing Touch Highlighter. Um, this really didn't do a lot. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Also, can you see how grey that is? It's really grey. I mean, I guess it's more silver, but it's given like a grey cast because it's got that purpley undertone. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I have my love and my joy. Uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I really do like this. It gives like a wet look to the skin and it looks like a foundation, but that's why it's the best. It just looks like your skin and it gives a really nice glow and it's not like too highlighty. I don't know if was the most awkward place to swatch it in the world. <laughs> um, but I really like this. Next product I have is Do The Hula, which is a liquid bronzer by Benefit. Uh, I do actually use this, even though it's ridiculously orange. I pumped out way too much. <laughs> I like I like mixing this with foundations if I've got fake tan on, and sometimes on natural days where I want to look really bronzed. Um, so this one is staying. Okay, so these are the liquid highlights, and I've decided to include the bronzers as well that I'm keeping. These are all the ones that I'm getting rid of. I decided against keeping one of the Beauty Bay ones because I'm probably just not going to use it. So I'm getting rid of all of these. So now we have these sorted, let's see if we can add them into this. Okay, that's filled up quite nicely. It's actually quite full, which is quite cool. I wanted to include these in here because I mix them in with my like primers and foundations. So I thought it'd be ideal to have it in this section. So this one is done. Now All right. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this series. I honestly love watching makeup to clutter videos and organization videos. So I hope this video is the same for you guys. If you did enjoy it and if you like my new background, then please leave a thumbs up. <laughs> If you want to see future declutters then don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below and the bell button to get notified of my future uploads. If you're watching this in the future and they're already all uploaded, I hopefully have made a playlist and I'll link it in the eye for you over there or I'll link it down below for you guys. Here's to staying organized forever. Yeah, <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> but yeah, that is it from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys. I did include, I did, I did actually, blah, 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 blah. I mean, that's a little help. I mean, that's a little help. If you want, if you want to be, up, if you want, if you want to be updated with the, uh, uh, be it so loud and I'm just like, oh, oh, you need to just stop. Can you just not step in my gown? You need to calm down. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that is a bun, baby. That is a bun. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Night, everybody. And we're off air. Oh, no, no. I have to turn my other lights off. It's not as simple as that anymore. <sighs>